and welcome to Hello Artist, an interview series where we get to know one visual artist but keep it brief enough to leave you wanting more. Kind of like getting the phrase, only God can judge me, tattooed on your lower back. I'm Marissa Tani Thaler, and today we're talking to an illustrator and tattoo artist whose work can be found all over Lansing, including a few pieces on me, um, none of which are tramp stamp. Please say hello to Paul Vetney. Hello, artist. Hi, Marissa. How are you today? <laughs> I'm doing well. I've got a week uh, full of uh, busy stuff to do to re-enter the world. So here's how today is going to work. I'm going to give you four questions and then we'll move to a speed round. Sound good? Sounds great. So first of all, go ahead and tell me who you are as an artist and what kind of work you do. I am a mixed media artist. Um, I've done everything from painting uh, to illustration in the last 14 years, uh, painting and drawing on people's skin. I love all aspects of art and it's all just kind of culminate into doing a little bit of everything. It depends on where I'm at, what supplies I have uh, and what the motive is. I know that you've done a lot of work when it comes to fundraising um, for mm -hmm. Lansing schools and specifically their art program. I was wondering if you could touch on that just a little bit. Jive 17, uh, which is a play on, uh, of course, our area code here, 517, was something that I started as an art project uh, with a friend of mine, Marcus Cottom. Uh, we both love art. We came to it from different backgrounds. Some of us from schools that had no funding together uh, came from where it was very highly specialized. We both realized the importance. So we created uh, an art and design firm where we create locally themed uh, apparel and do things throughout the community. And one of those things is we throw a fundraiser at the Green Door Bar and Grill called the Love Lansing party and uh, each year you know we throw uh, an all-day afternoon uh, party with music live art uh, we've raised over twenty thousand dollars you know in the past oh. four or five years for that so go ahead and tell me what you are currently working on just before uh, the stay-at-home order uh, I was preparing for a show through the uh, Arts Council of Greater Lansing so I've got uh, some more work done I'm doing larger scale stuff uh, which is taking a little bit more time because of some of the detail work that I do in my illustrations. So um, while they're figuring out what the schedule is going to be, I'm going to continue doing that. But uh, so currently that show and now preparing to get back to tattooing. Can you tell us what kind of thing inspires your work? Growing up, I was inspired by cartoons and comic books, uh, colorful, dynamic types of things. And into my adulthood, I did some more studying on my own. I, again, with colors, and uh, kind of dynamic, larger than life things. I'm a huge fan of the Mexican muralist movement that happened in the early 1900s. So far, what has been the biggest or most important part of your art career? I've had a few exhibitions where I've, I've been able to showcase an interesting spots, an exhibition uh, with uh, Dennis Preston, as well as Marcus Cottom doing some illustration stuff together. Biggest thing of my career is in my tattooing. Uh, after 14 years of tattooing, for somebody else, I uh, finally was able to open a, a shop of my own in uh, one of the greatest neighborhoods in Lansing, Rio Town. Yep, yeah, I'm a Rio Town fan too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so we have come to the speed round portion of our interview. Are you ready? Uh, probably, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Question one, what is your favorite color? I, you know, I get so many reactions when I say black. I love I don't, I wear black t-shirts all the time, but uh, next to that would be brown. Um, number two, who is your favorite artist? I would say Diego Rivera, and then the next one that pops up is uh, David Skiros. He was also a Mexican muralist. And question three, what is your favorite part of your creative routine? The meditative aspect of drawing for me, uh, a lot, with a lot of detail. Um, and line work, it can, you know, it can seem monotonous, but for me, I, I just kind of go to another place and, and it's, it's really satisfying when I'm done and I can only relate that to meditation. And question four is a question that's just for me. I don't think this is appropriate because you and I both are a big fan of breakfast food. If mm. you had to choose, would you go for a sweet breakfast like French toast or a savory breakfast? Definitely savory. Yeah, um, really. Sugary. Is there ever a place for <laughs> yeah. a sweet breakfast? Yes, sugary cereal. I grew up. I grew up in Battle Creek, so I'm very well acquainted with Fruit Loops. Oh I'm yeah. Favorite Were your parents of the mindset where you weren't allowed to have like sugary cereals? Or it was. It was. A, it was a special treat for sure. <laughs> 
as we wrap up, is there anything else uh, specifically that you wanted to plug or tell everybody where they can find you on social media? I, I can be found on social media on Instagram. It's at M-E-X-I-N-K-77, Maxink77. Uh, Facebook at Paul Vetney Arts and paulvetney.com for my website. Uh, I'm excited to announce that uh, we are reopening the Rio Town Tattoo Company in Rio Town, Lansing. It's at 1101 and a half South Washington. Uh, come down and uh, we'll give you a tour. And if you'd like to book an appointment or a consultation, happy to do that too. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I was really excited to have you on. Thank you so much, Marissa. And thank you for joining us today. You can find Paul's information below in the description of the video. And be sure to join us next time where we get to say hello to one more artist. Thank you. Mm -hmm.